Hey guys, Buddy Lee here on some jump rope tips on how to jump the correct way. Choosing the right surface, the right type of clothing, how to become jump rope proficient to basically increase your jump rope capacity and then do workouts to get the greatest benefits in the least amount of time. Let's get started. How do you take care of your rope? Well, after each session, always fold your rope up and put it neatly into your bag. You can also hang your jump rope on a hook. Remember to keep the cable straight. Then another way you can always just make a nice circle, put a band on it and place your rope. Rope care. Surface, choose a good surface. A surface could be maybe level grass or artificial turf. A wooden surface that has equal rebound and give. A rubberized surface, level dirt, and even carpet. Remember, choose a surface that has equal rebound and give, not too much give, but basically provides some shock absorption so that you can minimize the impact that's coming down on the lower body, such as the knees, the ankles, and of course the lower back. Always wear the right clothing. Men, you know, tight briefs. Women, support bras and get rid of the jewelry so that you don't have to worry about jewelry falling off and then kicking in someone's face because of the turning of the jump rope. Shoes, wear good cross trainer tennis shoes, you choose. Nike, Reebok, Adidas, Under Armour, doesn't make a difference. Choose something that's comfortable, that has some four foot padding. And then keep in mind, you can also jump barefooted if you're on a rubberized mat or level dirt. The key is take off and landing where you're minimizing the impact that's coming down on the joints. Jump rope proficiency. How do you become proficient with the jump rope? Well, master the basic bounce and the alternate footstep. Remember the key points. Balance your body weight, breathe, bend, and bounce. Remember, just jump high enough to clear the rope a half inch off the floor and land lightly on the balls of the feet. Jump with proficiency, body mechanics, breathing the right way, taking off and landing to become jump with proficient so that you can build up to 140 jumps with the perfect form without a miss. And when you can do that, then you can build from proficiency to a basic jump with capacity of 500 jumps. And when you can get to 500 jumps a day, you know what they say, it helps keep the doctor away. Injury prevention is all about not doing too much too soon. Being light on the balls of the feet, not landing too hard on the surface. Remember the key to effective jumping is just jumping high enough to clear the surface and being light on the balls of your feet. Follow my program and we'll get you off to a safe and jumping start where the impact is minimal. You have safe progressions and you're gonna learn how to do it the right way so that you can get the greatest benefits in the least amount of time. First goal, become proficient with the jump rope. Then build up to 500 jumps and eventually to 10 minutes of jumping nonstop. And according to research, 10 minutes of jumping is the same as 30 minutes of jogging. That's right, 30 minutes of jogging. Stay focused, practice, be patient, never ever give up, and rope to success. Now, as a jump of authority, I've spent 30 years around the world traveling, motivating, educating, and teaching people how to jump the right way. Now, if you want to take your jumping to the next level, check out my next e-course in the description below and it's going to take your jumping to the next level for better sports performance, weight loss, fitness, or even just for fun. I've done over 6,000 presentations, I've been to over 60 countries around the world, and I teach people of all ages and abilities how to master this skill for the greatest benefits in the least amount of time. So. Check out my course, and don't forget about my jump rope challenges coming up to take your fitness to the next level. 
Let's get ready. Let's get ready to jump, jump, jump. Rope to success.